Hello guys and welcome back to the channel or to the channel if you're new. So in today's video we're trying a different, I guess, kind of way of touring builds or I guess I should say different way of showing you builds I've done and that's in the sense of touring builds. So, so I've built this build right here and it's something I'm actually quite proud of. We're just going to ignore the window placement because windows are not my strong suit and we're just going to pretend like they didn't happen. So the way I'm planning on like going through this is by doing like a little walk around like we're a little sim. I don't think I've ever done like a tour like this before so I'm pretty excited to like I don't know just walk through my build like I'm a regular person. Keep in mind, I'm still like kind of new to building, like I don't build often and I'm just really enjoying it recently. So we're gonna go through it. Unfortunately, none of the stalls are open, so we kind of just have to like imagine they are. But as you can see, there's some international kind of like food stores around. We've got American, um, I think that's Japanese. Uh, <laughs> um, I do not know what that is. I'm trying to guess by that um i don't know but anyways so there's like these little benches and this is an apartment building with mailboxes for both apartments like they're just a shared mailbox and so this is like just a full apartment building whereas this one has a bar underneath and then apartments up the top there so we're going to just go through we can kind of see some atms here to get some cash out maybe these food vendors only take cash or something and then it looks like we have some chinese maybe some indian there looks like naan bread and butter chicken and then we have by the looks of it like mexican there so then over the back here we've got like just one of those street phones that has a whole lot of graffiti on it unfortunately and then back here we kind of have where the bar would import all their stuff import all their stuff and then just some trash at the back with some graffiti so now going back to the bar there we can kind of see a menu but let's just go right in through the doors and it's just a very cozy like rundown bar there's nothing much i imagine the owners have owned it for a very long time they're locals to the city and every like person who actually lives in the city knows that this is the place that serves the absolute best alcohol but you know every person who's a tourist around the city wants to go to like the hot spots where it's really nice and fancy the rooftop bars whereas all the actual people who live here know this is the spot so no alcohol will be served to patrons under 21 they have a few signs up but i imagine they don't really care to id people that much and then we've just got like a jukebox so anyone who can just like slot in a dollar and then pick a song then through here in the staff only section just some ice and like a little spot if they want to have their break here but i'm imagining if the staff want to have a break they'll just like go to sit outside somewhere but if they just need a quick little sit down there's a chair there then everything else is just there with the big garage door where they can put any big things they need and then this is just the rest of the bar and then the restroom is for customers only and so into the restroom we go it's just unisex and we've got some writing on the wall there and then some graffiti on the toilet paper or the paper towel I guess and then we have some soap but I imagine all that hand soap is probably all used up and then we'll just go into the bathrooms we can see there's some graffiti on the wall there and then there's some graffiti in this one as well like they're not super kept clean by any sense but they work you know there's nothing wrong with them so now coming around the other back this is the way to get into the apartments you have to climb up some stairs and then a ladder if you want to get to the roof so we just have some air conditioning units and like some vents for the bar and just some more graffiti with a really rusted down utility box there and then we go up the like fire escape type doors type stairs so now that we've walked up them we can just go through the doors into the first kind of um first kind of like apartment 
uh, floor and we just have a nice comfy couch for them to kind of sit as they wait just as a bit of decoration nothing fancy and through the first one we can see there's truly nothing fancy just some light switches and a kitchen that doesn't have a sink that is my bad I will make sure to add one before I put it on the gallery there are like a few places that don't have sinks or like the um, second fire railing like does not the se second fire stairs don't have any railing and it's because it literally is broken it won't work and unfortunately there's no fix for that that I can figure out so I just left it um, it sucks I know and then if you don't have sinks in kitchens because I couldn't fit it and I was like you know if it's that cheap maybe they are like you just have to use the bathroom sink I don't know because these apartments are very cheap they're very small like there's nothing fancy about them but anyways this place behind here is the bathroom it's a very plain Jane and nothing exciting about it and you can see here they've got three toothbrushes and that's because if we can go in here you can see that there's twin girls living in here with a very decorated fun colorful room and so they're twins just twin girls and then if we go through here a single mum lives in here she has a very plain Jane room because like she can't really afford anything better for her and she puts all her money towards her little baby girls who are probably like tweens and then the second apartment there's only two on this floor the second apartment in here is quite nice and it's just like a very basic kind of kitchen nothing too fancy and then just a couch that's kind of off to the side with a tv like imagine if they wanted a movie night they would just scoot their couch to more center but like there's just no room for it to be like that all the time so they just have it off to the side when they're not using it and then in here is just like their room very cute but very basic and you can kind of look off into the city and look down on the food stalls but they have blinds for when they don't want to do that so they can just draw those and shut them um, but they don't look black out so I imagine that still some bustling light goes in which would be annoying and then in here is their daughter she also just has a very cute and colorful room she has a baby doll and like just a toy box and she can also look out but I imagine has her cur curtains drawn most of the time. Maybe she likes people watching, I don't know. And then just like a very basic, very basic bathroom again. None of these bathrooms are particularly exciting. They have a welcome map in there, a welcome mat come in, cozy up. And that's that. And then going upstairs, this one is a bit bigger. There is, oh God, losing my way around. So this one is a bit bigger. We'll go to this one last because as you can see, a witch lives here and then we'll go into this one that says well hello there and this one has why is that floating okay so we're going in here and you can see there's a toddler living in this one with just some toys scattered on the ground and you can also see there's a playground over there so, or like a small basketball court and monkey bars perfect for all the children living in here and they have a nice off view into the city and then there's a kitchen with once again no sink that is oh no there is a sink i was gonna say are you serious there's definitely room and then going into here is like just another very basic bathroom with only two toothbrushes because they probably keep the baby's toothbrush like in the kitchen or something you know the toddler's not going to come in here and brush their own teeth and so it's just very basic and then there's like a potty there for the toddler and then in here is the toddler's room very cute floating pillows annoying but anyways just very cute basic stuff as you can tell there is a lot of cc so i do apologize like if you don't have all this cc it'll probably come bare but if you want to see me do more like cc free builds let me know because i will gladly do that i just love cc i feel like it makes everything easier then this is a parent's bedroom very basic and then we'll go to this room next and i like this house a lot basically the only the people who live here are just some young adults looking to rent free because they are travelers and they're just taking a bit of break from traveling in their like car to work a bit more to save up some more money so that's what they're doing now that's why it's very bare but also like some photos of their travel and yeah so they have a lounge room one of the only a few houses in these apartments to have a lounge room oh my god my mouse is going absolutely crazy like it's very hard to keep this steady i don't know how 
people who tall builds instead of speed builds do it. But then there's just a very basic kitchen where you can look off into other apartments, uh, nothing fancy. And then in here is the bathroom, very basic, they have like some beachy coloured towels. And then over to the other side is the uh, room of the young adults, very basic like I said, just like a photo of the city skyline, pretty stuff like that. And then going out to the last apartment, or oh, as you can tell also they have a hole, probably like their surfboard or something, they were trying to bring it in and ripped a hole, probably not going to get their deposit back, but it's okay. And then let's go into the last apartment in this building, which is the witchy building. She has a black cat, which I'm obsessed with, and then she has like this, you know, she's like a paranormal, kind of does some of that psychic stuff, but she's also a witch herself. And this is her bedroom, very basic, she can only fit one bed and then she has some photos of maybe like her long lost husband who was like a vampire forbidden love type of thing, I don't know. And then there's just the bathroom in here with the kitty litter, nothing fancy at all so let's just go out of that one and go down. So now we're down into the next and last like apartment building. And these are like just straight up apartments, very cheap apartments, like they're not a lot at all, they're very run down. The landlords do not give two shits about this building, like it's just cheap money, it's not being taken care of. This camera absolutely does not work at all, and it's also floating, we ignore that once again. Um, and so there's just some parcel, like a parcel that has not been picked up by any of the tenants, and the mailman was like, fine, I'll just leave it there, then there's a few cork boards of like stuff like whoever's banging at night stop um and stuff like that and so in the first one this is probably the biggest apartment i want to say for this block uh, for this building and there's just like a tv there and then a couch there so they literally have to watch this tiny little screen on the kitchen and in here is the bathroom i believe like a very basic rundown kind of bathroom with a bin and like whatever and then in here is literally the most bare bones, like they probably just moved in kind of person. Very basic stuff. And they have a package in there, probably some of their stuff to try and decorate and make the apartment look a little nicer. And then that is that for that floor. And then we'll go up the stairs. And then in here is the other apartment. So there's only one apartment per floor I believe maybe there might be two apartments up there I don't know but this is like the kitchen that is meant to be there because I anyways um like I said there's no sink here because they literally just don't have space and like I said it's very cheap so they're probably like well you've got to use the bathroom it is what it is kind of thing but thankfully the bathroom's just in here but it's kind of gross like they probably have to wash their sinks and their, their dishes in there which is pretty disgusting but anyways there's just two roommates living in here like they're not related this first one she probably just moved out of like school she just graduated and now she's studying university in the city so she just has a very basic like place to do her studying before she can go back home maybe she like comes from a house where they've kind of made her pay for her own uni so she's just not got a lot of money right now and then the other person who's probably the one renting it and then the other's just like a person who saw the ad on like Facebook or something and this person owns a cat so yeah there's a little box and like some stuff for a cat and going upstairs these very unsafe stairs like Jesus imagine falling oh ow you know they probably broke the fucking stair rails and just couldn't afford to fix them oh yeah there's two on this one so we'll go have a look in this one first and these ones are like studio apartments, so the only like space that's a different room is the bathroom. There's like the bed and everything is the same thing. So in here is the very, oh my god, this sensitivity is crazy. Okay, so yeah, this is just a very basic bathroom, nothing special. And then in here is the kitchen, and the kitchen literally comes out, like it's just here, right? And then the bed is immediately there and they can sit and watch TV on their little TV, which is kind of crazy. But moving on for, oh my God. So moving in to the next apartment, if I can actually figure this out. If I want to keep doing tours like that, if someone can give me like tips on like 
ways to make the camera smoother because this is kind of janky as hell. Okay, so moving on into here, we have like a very basic kitchen. They don't even have an onion oven in here. Like this is probably the absolute cheapest, like fucking zero, like such cheap rent. It's insane. There's a TV on top of the fridge and then just the microwave and not even a sink in here. Then once again, have like the pull out bed that you cannot see because... There we go. So they've got the pull-out bed there, like that's a couch, and then they just pull it out and it's a bed. And then in here is a very basic bathroom. But going downstairs, that is all for this apartment. And that is all for these. Like, I think it looks very lively. It looks like a lot's going on and it doesn't look like... You know, it kind of looks like the city more than just having a single, single story like building. Uh, I think it looks way more lively now and I love it and I love can't wait to add it to my like actual games uh, and yeah so that's it if you have any tips for making this easier because I don't not I did not realize so much was like part of the skill of building <laughs> um, doing like the sh tours of builds I didn't realize it was so hard so if you have any tips let me know and let me know if you prefer speed builds or if you prefer tours like this I did a tour like this because it literally took all day and when it's like that long of just footage it can be so hard to do it in a speed build so maybe I'll do smaller builds as speed builds and bigger ones as like tours I don't know or if you want to do more like build with me is where I like build in real time with a mixture of like tours and a mixture of speed let me know what you think just comment down below your thoughts I would love to hear your feedback anyways thank you so so much for watching leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed follow me on my other like TikTok and YouTube and stuff I'm way more active over on my TikTok and Instagram and then I have a vlog channel that I'm planning on posting all my travel stuff on. So anyways, that's all in my link tree in the description below. I love you all so, so much. Bye!